Hi, Mr. and Mrs. Chen. This is your 2022 Sprinter passenger van. I'm going to put a quick video tour together for you. Um, we're going to walk around the exterior of the vehicle and then go on the inside and check out the interior. So it is obsidian black on black leatherette. As we walk around here, you'll see we have some sensors on the front. This does have um, parking package as well as um, Distronic. Distronic is the adaptive cruise control system that um, Mercedes offers. Um, as we walk around, uh, you'll see there is uh, blind spot monitoring in the mirrors, so you'll see little triangles in the mirrors. Um, and we'll walk around towards the front of the vehicle and go around the side. I'll pop open the door. This is uh, an electric door, so we can actually just open it from the key fob. As you'll see, you do have the step there. It makes it easy to get in and out which is nice given this is a 4x4. 4x4, it is a little bit higher, so that step does certainly come in handy. Um, you'll see you've got three rows of seats. Um, it is a 12-passenger vehicle total. Um, these seats can come out. Um, again, pretty easy to uh, remove them, but they are removable, and you have a track system, so you can move one or two or all of them if need be. Um, you can actually close it this way. Another thing in there... Um, we do have the roof mounted AC, you can see it out here pretty easily, um, which makes the rear seat passengers more comfortable. As we come around to the rear, we'll take a look right here, both doors open, as you'll see that one will swing out 270 degrees. Um, we do have this nice step right here um, to make it easier to get in and out of, also attached to a trailer hitch plenty of room for storage back here um, and as I said you can remove these seats so if you do need more storage you can you have D-rings if you need to tie anything down um, makes for pretty easy uh, use um, you get a better view of that air conditioner right there as well so now we'll go on the inside and we'll go over some more features all right now that we're inside the van I'll go over some of the options and features in here um, as I said, this is the passenger van, 12 seats. We do have some uh, driver's convenience packages in here, um, some comfort packages. So we do have uh, fully electronic, uh, electronic adjustable seats. Um, they're located on the doors, the driver and passenger side door. Um, so you have your, your uh, adjustments as well as your heated seats and your um, door locks. As you can see, both driver and passenger have that same setup. The addition on the driver's side is control of both windows and your mirrors are electronically adjustable up here as well. Um, you will see you have blind spot uh, warning in your mirrors. Kind of hard to see from inside the car, but you do have it. Uh, it's a little triangle in the, in the mirror. Um, then as we come to the steering wheel, we do have the multifunction steering wheel, meaning it's got uh, touch pads on both sides of the uh, steering wheel here left side controls the center display which is a color display um, and then the right side controls this uh, big screen MBUX I believe it's the ten and a quarter screen um, that all controlled right through the steering wheel as you can see I'm controlling it with the mouse pad right on the steering wheel as well as it is a touch screen um, so you can use it just as you would any touch screens um, other things on the steering wheel are your Distronic system, so the rest of the buttons, these two are worked at screen, and then the rest of the buttons all control your cruise control. Um, and then the rest of the buttons on this side are all phone, volume, and uh, voice control related. Um, your, one of the biggest selling features of this vehicle is that it's a four-wheel drive, so your four-wheel drive button is down next to the steering column on the right side of the column. A um, couple other really cool features, um, up top here we have storage containers on both the driver and passenger side and then in the center we have um, access to wireless charging as well as three USB type C's as well as a um, standard like 12 volt. This USB type C with the diagram on it also is for your Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. Plug your phone in there and it will all be mirrored up here in the center. Um, outside of that, we've got our climate controls down here, and then lastly we have our, autom or our power door controls. We hit that button, 
the power door behind us closes you'll see it flashes until it actually shuts and then once it's done flashing the door is shut so that is a quick overview of uh, your new passenger van please feel free to give me a shout if you have any questions my number is 207-510-2286